You're frozen. You're frozen. You're frozen. I love frozen. Loosen it up. Loosen it up. Uh. Yeah, shake it up. I don't want to shake it up. <laughs> All right, guys. We are here with a special person. Her name is our sister. That's not my name. That is your name. The Rob Ross sister. <laughs> No, she's 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 coming into her own self. What's your name? Emily Eisenman. They didn't hear you. Emily! That's right! <laughs> but What's going on with me? Emily is in a uh, spot in her life right now where a lot of many other young people are, and that's they're in school and they don't know why. And they're scared to drop out because of everything people have told them from you can't be successful without a degree. And this is a very relevant topic to us because me and my brothers, none of us have pursued college. You know, I was offered a full ride scholarship to the University of Georgia for swimming. Emily is actually a recipient of one of the scholarships we're giving out. We realized that here we were uh, taking these applications from all around the world, uh, people who want to come on a retreat for free, and it's actually just so happens to be a time in our sister's life where she needs a little Rob Ross help. Mm -hmm. I do. And that's what we're going to talk about today, where she's at and why she needs help. Share it, sister. I am lost and I am scared because I'm in school. I'm in college. And I don't know what I'm doing there. And I feel like it's not my place. I feel like I have more to offer to myself and to God and to this world and to my family to pursue things I'm interested in compared to... These little teachers telling me what I should be interested in and where I should go. And I'm ready to take a blind uh, step of faith. Not know where I'm going, but I feel like God's going to take me there. And I just don't see school in that picture at all. And I was in her shoes, except even to a greater extent, because here I had something that I worked so hard to achieve. And everyone in my family, including my parents, my brothers even, did not did not encourage me. They encouraged me to stay in school to keep going after what I knew was not right for me. And so taking that leap of faith of dropping out and leaving was so scary. It was against what everyone, the closest people in my life was telling me to go after and, um, and here I am. I, don't, I, couldn't, I couldn't imagine my life without taking that leap of faith. And I want to be with you <laughs> and you. So if they had a full ride scholarship as a swimmer, you, you went to one semester of school not only three months. And I'm going to even add on to that story. Nathaniel was so passionate about swimming. He, he was a self-taught swimmer who excelled crazy in just a short amount of time that he was teaching himself. Why? Because he was driven by passion and creativity. But as soon as he got into the system where it's like a one-size-fits-all, like, look, you're going to either adhere to our program or you're not going to be a part of the system. And this is not necessarily an anti-college video. Mm -mm. You know, um, college can be great for people. If you yes. want to become a doctor, a lawyer, a nurse, whatever, something that, re that you're passionate about that really requires a degree, then great. But how many people out there that are just stuck in school and they don't know why? They're, just pr they're spending so much money towards a business. You know, college is a, a business. They spend millions of dollars on marketing to make you scared to not go to college. Yeah, college is a huge investment, guys, and you have to be passionate about, passionate about that investment if you want to get your returns. Um, just like any investment, you know, college, I see, I have friends, my brothers, uh, who have paid almost $100,000 in, uh, in college. I didn't go to college either. The closest thing I got to college was uh, going to orientation, actually. And I kind of knew from a high school student, like a junior or a sophomore in high school, that I didn't want to go to college. And I was a competitive baseball player on a good baseball team, and all my friends were like thinking I'm crazy, and my coaches made jokes about me being homeless. And but Emily, right now Emily's at a point where she, her heart is pulling her towards one direction, and our, her parents, for example, our parents, is pulling her in another direction. Yeah, I'm in a confused spot because both of our parents went to medical school. Uh, pharmacy, nursing. All my brothers went the complete opposite way. And where am I at? I'm right stuck in the middle and my parents tell me to go this way and my brothers are pursuing me to go the other way and I'm scared both ways. I feel like I may fail either way. I feel like I may miss out if I go to school and I feel like if I I may make a mistake if I drop out of school but I'm just so ready to um, move and I feel like being in school for me and I'm staying still 
because I'm scared and I'm ready to be uh, vulnerable to what life has mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm not the only person that feels that way and I'm, I'm excited that I have this feeling. I feel like yeah. it's a godly thing. This has been super eye-opening for me because, you know, I see Emily up in a room doing homework, just just so miserable, crying a lot of the time because she can't take school anymore, but she's scared. She's stuck in this limbo position of not being able to commit to one or the other. And there's so many people out there. You you might find yourself in a situation where you're just you don't know which way to go. But something that's been really powerful for me lately is the idea of co it's better to be committed than correct. It's, yeah. It's better to just go after something. You know, you're going to have one person telling you it's the wrong decision, the other people telling you it's the right decision. But how do you got to have faith in yourself? You have to trust and know that whichever way you go, that you mm -hmm. it will be the right decision. And, and I have so much faith. And even if it wasn't the right decision, you got to know that God will bring out the best in that situation. So just go after it, commit to something. Yes. Look, you don't want to go to college because you're afraid of what the, what uncertainty lies ahead of you. You want to go to college because you're passionate about learning a specific subject and getting a degree in that subject. But if you're going to college just because you're afraid of what, uh, what, because you, you don't know what's going to happen, then you're in the wrong spot. Mm -hmm. You're in the wrong place. Yeah. Don't let uh, people or society keep you on that path of thinking you may be right. I feel like I'm uh, reaching out to what's more than that. I feel the more I reach out, the more I feel like that's just the right decision for me. I'm ready to pursue that. And chances are, when you talk to your friends or your social group about maybe dropping out of college or not going to college, they're probably going to uh, disagree with you. They're probably going to show you their opposing opinions. It's like the crab in the bucket. As soon as one crab, there's two crabs in the bucket. Well, as soon as one crab starts to get out of the bucket, the other one's going to pull him down because oh. he doesn't want to be left behind. You know? You have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you're going to do whatever it takes to be successful or to be happier, whatever, whatever you live by. And for me, I had no one believed in me dropping out of college. But I had to believe, if, no, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody will. Yeah, people keep telling me lately, well, if you go to school, at least you'll have a degree to lean back on later. But that just, I feel like you were telling me that um, if you feel like you have something to lean back on, you may not give your you're a hundred percent to what you're doing because you're like, oh well, if something goes wrong, I always have the degree to go back on. But if you don't have a degree like these guys, they are so passionate to not fail because they have nothing to lean back on. Speaking, sister. And I want I, I don't want to lean back on things. <laughs> it's funny, you know, we live in a college town. It's funny to see college kids uh, afraid to spend like four dollars on a meal or healthy food instead of two because. Uh, they, they, don't have, they don't want to make that investment in their health. But yet, what they don't seem to know is that they're spending tens of possibly $100,000 on their school tuition. And I guess it's because it's not necessarily their money. They're, they're going in debt, and like, I feel like they don't even realize it. And then it's a lifetime commitment to, to uh, you know, go to school. And, I want to uh, be committed to what I'm doing. You want to be committed, that's right. So. With all that said, Emily is coming to our Big Sur Retreat, April 9th through the 13th, for free. She is one of the Chosen Scholar recipients, and uh, we are, the, my brothers and I are actually covering her flight costs as well because we really want to see her uh, get there to that retreat, and this is the only way it was going to happen. Because if you can't help me... Who can we help? <laughs> yeah, so we're going to put the, uh, the scholarship application in the description below. So fill that baby out, and who knows, you know, even if you don't want to come on our retreat, the application's a really cool uh, thing to fill out. You, you'll learn a lot about yourself, so either way. And it's a good way for us to get to know you. So fill yeah. that link out, and we'll see you in our inbox. All right. God bless.